Welcome to my new video. My name is Moro Ferrari. TradingView has a built-in paper trading account that you can use once you have an account with them. To use this paper trading account, click the trading panel button across the bottom of the screen, then select the paper trading icon in the list of available brokers. It will then ask you if you want to connect to this account. Simply press the connect button and your TradingView account will now be connected to the paper trading account. Any trade you enter from here will be placed on this simulated account. This is extremely useful for familiarizing yourself with TradingView without the worry of making any mistakes. The paper trading account is also a brilliant demo account as all your results can be viewed right from within the TradingView screen. There are a few ways to open a trade within TradingView. First you can click the order panel on the toolbar on the right hand side of the screen. This will bring up a trade entry dialog box. Alternatively, you can right click on the chart and click trade. This will then give you the option of opening the new trade panel or quickly setting a limit or stop order using the previous position size you traded at. When looking at the trade order panel, the current market you are looking at will be shown at the top of the box. If you want to change this, you need to change the market you are looking at on the chart. You can then see the sell price in red, buy price in blue and the spread in the centre of these prices. You can then choose what market order type you want to use, either market, limit or stop. Once you have chosen the order type, you enter the price you want the order to be set at if you have chosen either limit or stop order. Market orders will be executed at the current market price. You then set the position size. As you can see on the screen, I am using the paper trade in account which uses lots for the position size, so I need to enter the amount of units I want to trade. If you were trading on a spread betting account for example, you would need to enter the spread bet size you want to trade per point in this box. You can then set your stop loss and take profit levels in a few different ways. You can set them by specifying a set number of points or pips away from your entry level. You can set them to a specific price level. You can set a specific monetary amount or you can set it to a percentage of your account that you want to make or risk on the trade. Once you are happy with all the trade details, you can execute the order by pressing the big sell or buy button near the bottom of the trade panel. You will also be able to see details about the potential position below the button. To view your open trades within TradingView, you can click your broker tab on the toolbar across the bottom of the screen. This will expand the window to display the broker window. The Positions sub-tab will usually be open by default and below this you should be able to see a list of any open positions you currently have with the linked trading account. Here you can see which market the position corresponds to, the trade direction, the position size, the price entered, take profit and stop loss levels set, the current market price and then the current profit and loss for the trade. To view any pending orders you have placed, simply click the Orders sub-tab and a list of any pending orders you have will be listed below in a similar fashion to the open positions list. You can then further filter the orders by using the buttons below the sub-tabs. To add a take profit order or stop loss order to an open trade, you can go to the broker tab, positions sub-tab and then click the little pencil icon on the right hand side of the list entry of the trade you want to modify. Alternatively, you can click on the trade line on the chart itself. This will open a window on the right hand side of the screen where you can select a tick box for either order and then enter the details for each. You can enter these levels in a few different ways as you could when you initially opened the trade. You can set it by a pip or point amount, a specific price level, a specific monetary amount or a specific percentage of your account. Once you are happy, simply click modify and the orders will be set. You should also see a little line appear on your chart corresponding to any take profit or stop loss orders you have just entered. To manually close a trade you can simply go to the broker tab, position sub tab, find the trade you want to close and click the small cross icon on the right hand side of the list entry that represents the trade you want to close. Or you can click the little cross symbol on the right hand side of the trade line on the chart. A dialog box will pop up asking you to confirm this action. Here you can set the full position to be closed or just part of the position. If you only want to partially close the position, select the partial close tick box and then enter the amount of the trade that you want to close. Press the close position button and the trade will be closed as per your configuration. If you liked the video please subscribe to my channel.